mathcraft multiplication the science teacher decides to buy three cases of sodas 24 cans each for the field trip how many cans were purchased three multiplied by 24 is equal to what the cases of sodas can be represented by a rectangular array of base 10 blocks The array represents four ones multiplied by three ones and two tens multiplied by three ones. Each of these is part of the product, the result of the multiplication. Partial product computation. Let us multiply the units. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Let us multiply the tens. 3 multiplied by 20 is equal to 60. These are partial products. Add the partial product to give the total product. The final answer is partial product versus traditional algorithm. The traditional approach is a shortened form of the partial product approach. Rather than record each of the partial products, they are regrouped and only the first digit is recorded for each multiplication. The product of 4 multiplied by 3, 12, is regrouped as follows. The 2 is recorded under units on the product line. The 1 is carried to the top of the tens column. The effect is the same in both methods. The amounts are recorded in different locations. Next, complete the multiplication. 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7. Place the result under the tens on the product line. Compare the final results from the partial product approach and the traditional algorithm. Can you explain the meaning of the 1 at the top of the tens column? How is it used in the computation of the partial product in the tens column? Relate the answer in both cases to the array of base 10 blocks. The array represents four ones multiplied by three ones and two tens multiplied by three ones. Each of these is part of the product, the result of the multiplication. Mathcraft. Multiplication.